You'll recognize him from the Food Network. He appeared on CHOP during the Military Salute episode in season 15. You've cooked for President George H.W. Bush. Right. And then Bruce Willis. Yeah. So both both of those palettes. A-listers. Couple other uh, notables, just yeah. to name a few. Yeah. Now you're back with us. Absolutely. You've got a delightful dish. It's a pleasure to be here. We'll yeah. Have to have so you. you know it's summertime, and I think we should keep it light, outdoorsy, and we have a beautiful grill here. So I took some uh, shrimp, uh, took some citrus marinade, and I want to tell people, make your own marinade. It's simple. You know, it's a little bit of oil, citrus juice, herbs, spices, a little bit of water. Let it sit overnight. Good to go. And yeah. you know what's in it. You know how your food's going to react with it, right? Absolutely, absolutely. That's an important thing, too. Um, be careful, though, because citrus also cooks stuff. It's kind of like a ceviche situation. Um, but to top off the uh, shrimp wontons, we do some uh, Napa slaw cabbage. We're doing an Asian version. This is a beautiful sauce, right? It's a Bangkok peanut sauce, mm -hmm. uh, already ready to go. Um, so to get everything, mix it and put it together. You have so. been buzzing like a bee, which is appropriate because we're outside. <laughs> you make it look easy, but you have been running around. But the cool thing about this is, mm -hmm. you know, you could make that shrimp in advance and let it just relax and then, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, kind of do this in stages. You could, you could marinate it, but good thing about marinate, it's already halfway cooked. So grilling takes uh, about maybe two or three minutes. You just want to heat it up a little bit. So uh, these are some 80-20 shrimp, pretty nice size shrimp. Devein them down the middle. Pop them around on the grill. Takes a couple of minutes to do those. And, and while these are going, you can get your, your wontons, deep fry those a little bit and have it ready to go and uh, walk you through the slaw. These are a super versatile option. And you just get that, you can get that at the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Or you can make your wontons. Oh, but I would boy. say to buy them. Just buy okay. them. Okay. Buy them. We don't want to get too complicated. Right. You can buy them in the frozen section. Uh, deep fry for about two minutes. Uh, this little device here, you can buy these at any uh, food place, restaurant depot, or wherever the case is, and actually hold them in place. Um, set them in here and you're ready to go. So this is quick, easy, simple uh, dish to make. And fresh. It is. Everything is fresh and vibrant. And Napa cabbage also is a great source of protein. Really? Yes, it is. Yes, I it is. Know that. Me either. Huh. We learn something new every day right, right here in Virginia this morning. <laughs> With it. the Napa cabbage, mm -hmm. is, is the flavor different than just like a regular cabbage or is it more just a um, texture thing? It's more of a texture thing. Um, I prefer it over regular cabbage just because of the uh, protein source it has to it. But um, the flavor is about the same. Miles, it's more, of course, it's an Asian version of uh, our cabbage. But um, it looks great, though. Nice, vibrant, along with some fresh carrots. Mm -hmm. And I think I mentioned earlier, this is not the original carrot. It was purple, but it looks great. Great texture, great mix together. So Yeah, nice balance there. Absolutely. And you know what's cool about the Napa cabbage, going back to that? All mm -hmm. the nooks and crannies. Yeah. That means all your sauce is going to stick in Stays there. Stays right in there, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good observation. Good observation. So we're going to finish this up real quickly and uh, add that uh, peanut sauce to it. Sounds great. And this, this is this is it for, for the slaw. I got some, uh, some nice green onions right here. Well, I can handle that. Oh. I mean, you know, making this. I, I, I it's got a was... couple of ingredients. I can help. You can put me to work. I keep okay, trying awesome. to roll these sleeves up, right? But that's not going to happen. These like bell those. sleeves. I'm trying not Does to get it. Does it catch the air out here? Yeah, I wish, right? We'll just, <laughs> if there were any air moving. No, awesome. I'll help. Put me to work. Awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in a small container right here and put a little bit of this Bangkok peanut sauce in there. Okay. Yeah, let's get you a glove. Ooh, gloves. That makes me official. That's it. Okay. You go. Which one? Which hand? Uh, you right hand, left handed. Right handed. There you go. Let's put it on the right, right hand. hand. Give it a sauce in there. Give it oh, a quick I'm little mix. mix. It. Yep. Okay. Give it a quick little mix with your hand. How much? Uh, about a tablespoon. Nice little coating of it. What do we think about Perfecto. that? Perfecto. Yes. Perfecto. You also can make this sauce also. It's a recipe, quick recipe for it. Um, anytime as a chef, when it comes to make or buy, uh, it's completely optional. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, ginger, uh, peanuts, or peanut butter, uh, a little bit of. Uh, fish sauce. And again, um, you shared your thoughts on making your own sauces, but you know, if you yeah. have to be speedy, you can get it. Just go ahead and buy it out of the store. And it, this is a great uh, situation for nice little dinner parties or having friends over for the summer. And again, Jacobi these shrimp. sweet. You gave me the world's tiniest little mixing bowl. Look at that. Your hands fit right in there. That's perfect. <laughs> fit right. Look at there. See that right in Awesome there. job. Look at you. You could also grate some fresh ginger on top of that as well if you would like to, but Ginger is very, very strong. If, uh, use too much of it. So I think it's the perfect amount of uh, ginger Ooh, there. It smells so good. Our shrimp. Wait, where am I? There I am. Our shrimp are perfect right here. So you go. just basically reheated those. They were grilled. You took care of that. You kind of I pre-grilled them. them. I pre-grilled them a little bit. Um, they were part cooked. 
So not all the way, maybe 80% cooked. Parka? Or par cooked. Oh, parka. Partially cooked. <laughs> See, I'm thinking of cooler <laughs> times. Nose. I was like, we're not wearing a parka today, Jacob, but no, we're not going to do but it. But parka, no, 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 I will not do it. <laughs> parka. <laughs> so the uh, shrimp are beautiful right here. I just took those, uh, P and D'd them, peel and devein them. Uh, did our citrus marinate and grilled them, and this is ready to go. So let's see if we let's can compose one of these real quick. Do you chop those up any at all, or just kind of leave them? And I was going to say that too. I was going to say that as well. You can put them right in here, like like so, if you wish, or as you just stated, you could give a quick little chop. It's on almost these. like a little fancy appetizer. It is. It is. Let's do one. Am I rushing the gate? Chop virgin right there. Boom! 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 Put a little of this delightful Great idea with slaw. the chop version. I like how that looked right there. Well, I'm just, I, I would be the girl at the party who takes a bite out of this and the whole shrimp comes right out, right? out and hits me in the face. So always looking for the easier way to nibble on. And there treat. you go. And as I mentioned, you can also do it with like a lobster tails, any kind of seafood, fish, a nice white meaty fish, of course, but that's it. Oh, great idea. Okay. Swap it out with a... A lighter fish. Fish tacos, yeah, right? right? That with would wontons, be great. though. Yeah, yeah, instead of the uh, taco shell. Be great. They look fantastic. Great Thank you. What Appreciate if you were someone who maybe wanted to do, um, you know, like a, could you not fry the wonton? Could you, is there a soft, like, spring roll-esque version um, of You actually this? can take the wonton, and uh, if you have um, muffin pans, invert the muffin pan, so the right between the muffin pan, and put it right in the oven. Okay. And they still come out the same shape, but they're baked though. Oh, nice. Right, right. And I, I, I recommend them to come out of the oven, sprinkle a little bit of uh, maybe some culture sea salt on top of them or sweet paprika, whatever the case is. But they come out the same way in the oven. Um, way more but healthy as well. But then you're not frying them. Exactly. Okay, exactly. so options. Yeah. Frying brings a nice flavor to the situation. It does. A nice little, you know, crunch uh, also. Uh, the oven version takes a little bit longer, uh, but it works just all the same as well. So. Well, you were... And of course, the fresh lime just... Sets it all the way off. Brings right it all together. Thanks it for does, being back does. with us. Thank Terrific you. It's a pleasure job. To be here. It's great to awesome have to you. Here. He has been busy all morning putting this together. We yep. need to do a little taste testing. Can we Absolutely. do that? Absolutely. I was waiting for you to do that. Yeah, okay, yeah. it's time. I'm going to do one. Where's the one that's chopped? So there I don't you go. Look you. In here. <laughs> Thanks version. so much for joining us today for Virginia this morning. Hope to see you back here tomorrow at uh, 9 o'clock right here on CBS 6. Cheers. Just Feel a little breeze blowing in my bell sleeves here. Mm.